Hey everyone, this is Scott from Cornhole Collective. Welcome back for another video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Turn on notifications so you know when more videos are going to be ready. And when you're done watching, head over to Instagram and follow me at Mossboards and my buddy Hunter over at Burley Bags. All right, this time we're going to be building a frame jig. So you may have seen the frame jig on previous videos, but making your own is gonna help you a lot if you're building more than a couple sets of boards because this is going to allow you to attach all of your frame pieces in a consistent fashion. And that way, when you attach those to your decks, then the frames are always gonna be lined up perfectly. It also helps with building legs because then you know everything is square. Uh, it also helps if you plan on attaching your boards frame to frame. And I've got a little trick that I'll show you in this video as well. Uh, and having consistent, perfect frames is the start to being able to do all those fancy things. So in order to build this, all you need is 15 bucks. You're gonna go buy a sheet of OSB. That's what this is. It's about five or six bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's or your local uh, lumber yard. Um, and then you need these framing brackets and you can find these in the building supplies. They're about a buck a piece. You need eight of those, okay? And then you may already have some uh, little wood screws or uh, sheet metal small screws. Those will work fine to attach these frame brackets, framing brackets to the sheet that you're gonna use as your frame jig. So this piece was already cut perfectly two feet by four feet, which is great. That's what you want because it simulates the size of an actual board. And then you can center it exactly where you want it. You can draw on it uh, just to make sure that all your pieces are perfectly lined up as you're attaching them. All right, so the first thing you'll wanna do is actually build a frame without the jig. Make sure that you measure carefully and that your pieces are parallel and that your center brace, I like to use a center brace here because of how I attach the boards mainly, uh, but make sure your center brace is exactly placed evenly on both sides of the long edge of the frame. That's critical. And the first thing you may want to do is to mark some lines where you want to line up those frame pieces without the jig and then go ahead and assemble it clamp it carefully, make sure it's nice and tight and all the, all the corners are square, and then your center brace is perfectly placed. You're gonna use this frame to assemble your frame jig. You can see here that you'll use one framing bracket on each open space of the frame. And this way you can place new boards in place and clamp them all tight and then attach them through the pocket holes without these framing brackets being in the way. All right, when you're done, your frame jig will look like this, and it's ready to place and clamp and drill new frame pieces together. So you have a nice, clean collection of frames that are ready to attach to your decks. And you're one step closer to having some nice, clean boards. You can also use uh, blocks of wood. As long as they're not in the way, it's perfectly fine. I like the flexibility of these little metal pieces because it kind of grabs on to the wood and holds it tight. And if there's any irregularities in the wood, it's a little more forgiving to have these framing brackets instead of blocks of wood. So this is how I attach the boards together using friction blocks that I place inside one of the boards. And you can see that here. And this way you can just place one on top of the other, squeeze them together. There's no extra hardware to buy. 
and it's nice and snug. And as long as your frames are exactly the same, the friction of the outer edges and that brace are plenty to hold these boards together. Uh, more often than not, actually, it's a little too tight. So sometimes I have to come back with either, you know, a Dremel tool or some sandpaper and loosen that up just a little bit so they're easy to get apart, but they also hold together nicely. All right, well, I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you have any questions, add it to the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and head over to Instagram and follow us over there. Good luck with your next build. Hope you have a great day.